So let's talk triggers. When do you actually, you know, place a trade? It's pretty direct, actually. A trade gets initiated when the price moves outside the noise area. Above the top or below the bottom? Exactly. Break above the upper boundary, you might go long, expecting it to keep going up. Break below the lower boundary, maybe a short position, anticipating more downside. Okay, simple enough. But what about getting out? You don't want to ride it all the way back down if it reverses? No, definitely not. The exit rules are key there. Two main ways to get out. Which are? One is just the end of the trading day. Close out the position, take whatever profit or loss you have for the session. Standard intraday practice. Right. But the other one is crucial. If the price moves back inside the noise area after breaking out. Ah, so if the momentum fizzles out. Precisely. It acts as a kind of stop loss, cutting the trade if the initial signal doesn't follow through. Okay, that feels like sensible risk management built in. What other risk controls are there? Trading futures can be risky. Absolutely critical. There are a couple of main things. One is trailing stops. Right, to lock in profits if it moves your way. Exactly. The stop level moves along with the price. They mention using stops based on the noise area boundaries themselves or sometimes the VWAP, the volume weighted average price. Okay. And the other big one was position sizing, wasn't it? Something about volatility. Yes. Dynamic position sizing. This is really important. The idea is to keep your risk exposure somewhat constant. How does that work? Well, they initially targeted about 2% daily market volatility with a leverage cap. I think it was 4x. Okay. But Quantitativo, when testing futures, upped that. They aimed for 3% daily volatility target with an 8x leverage cap. So if the market gets choppier, you trade smaller size. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Higher volatility means smaller position size. Lower volatility means you can trade a bit larger, all trying to keep that potential daily P&L swing in a target range, subject to that leverage cap, of course.